Galnet News Update, 24th of October 3310. The Thargoids have attempted to take control of Syojin I, according to an Aegis researcher, leading to renewed concerns about those rescued from the Titans. Syojin I, who is in the care of Xena Research Group Aegis, has a cortical implant that allows her to listen in to the Thargoid hive mind, but it seems like it might be working both ways. Waking from a week-long coma earlier today, and apparently being none the worse for her experience, the former test subject D2 released a short video statement only a few hours later. She says she experienced intolerable noise in her head and was aware of an alien consciousness probing her brain. She suffered a seizure and passed out, but even while unconscious she was aware of another intelligence replaying her memories. She said she's convinced that the Thargoids have finally noticed her presence in the hive mind and have used the connection to learn everything they could from her about humanity. She apologised that she was unable to stop the Thargoids from taking her memories. She was clearly concerned that our defences against them might be in some way compromised. Sue claims that she can still sense the Thargoid hive mind and can tell that they're planning something. She said she remains confident that Aegis will do everything it can to address any new Thargoid threat. The Imperial Science Academy's Director of Xenological Studies, Ivano Colombera, who is working as a research lead for Aegis, has speculated that the Thargoids might have attempted to control Sio's movements and to operate her remotely as a drone. The implant gave them a way into her brain, but her awareness of the hive mind may have prevented them from being able to control her. There has previously been speculation that the human prisoners taken by the Thorgoids and stored in life support pods on board the Titan hive ships until they were rescued may be subject to being remotely controlled by the Thorgoids. There's previously been no evidence of the Thorgoids trying to control humans, so this latest development is a concern. However, thorough medical examination has revealed no evidence of any implants or other alien technology. Many thousands of rescued prisoners are going about their daily lives in Alliance systems. The Federation and Empire, however, have decided to keep their rescued prisoners under secure medical supervision. Meanwhile, Titan Raijin has suffered an explosive meltdown, leaving Kukijo as the last remaining Titan. Raijin exploded early on the morning of the 24th of October 3310 and is now a caustic no-fly zone for at least a week before the salvage effort can start. Aegis scientists have hinted that further technological developments may be possible using salvaged Titan equipment. The destruction of Titan Kokijo may not be as straightforward as the preceding seven. Kokijo controls over 150 systems, so it may be the end of November before it becomes vulnerable. And that's if the Thargoids don't come up with ways to disrupt our efforts or something new to take the focus elsewhere. <laughs>